Hey, it's the filmmakers. How's the documentary coming? You know, I, I'll be honest with you. I don't understand this whole Spitzer space telescope thing. Doesn't NASA have enough telescopes already? Yeah, but Spitzer's an infrared telescope. Infrared? Is that like pink? Since you're making a documentary about Spitzer, it might be a good idea for you to know what Spitzer actually does. You see, Spitzer was launched in 2003, the fourth of NASA's great observatories, on an Earth trail in orbit with its back to the sun, three eyes to the sky with coolant for one, it's 66 million miles away, because the heat from the Earth would affect the display, we're talking sensitive instruments, keep it streaming on its course for its deep space, keep tracing gaze at the universe, infrared, capturing the heat, Instead, there is light from the sky that we can't see In the darkest parts of the galaxy With Spitzer's spectrum we can detect them easily So the whole infrared thing is about looking for objects in the sky that no one else is looking for? I don't think she's getting it, Danny. I think you're right, Cartoon Son. Look. Spitzer's greatest gift to the viewing community The ability to see through the dust clouds That literally block the view of other telescopes Unless the dust gets busted They stand no hope for seeing what we can We're NASA's greatest addition But you didn't hear it from me Cause it ain't a competition Yeah, we're working together Combining forces for the mission Of a better sense of interstellar cosmic composition Infrared Capturing the heat Instead In the darkest parts of the galaxy With Spitzer's spectrum we can detect them easily Visible light, visible light We can only see the stars if the stars shine bright Infrared, yeah. infrared Depends on the energy and heat that's shed Visible light, uh -huh. visible light We can only see the stars if the stars shine bright Infrared, yeah. infrared, depends on the energy and heat that's shed. Spitzer's pulling pictures like the paparazzi, though the coolant ran out. So we can't use all three, we got notable photos, and even bros know it shows. The secrets of the universe are fully exposed, like some extrasolar planets. Does that get you a going? Cause the heat from those planets has its own faint glow, and if there's half as many planets around the stars, we found it's a million times more likely they got life spinning around. is what an infrared telescope like Spitzer is all about. All right, the song's over, son, so can it. <laughs> you bet. Okay, so I, I think I've got it. Infrared is not pink. You know what? Forget the documentary. You're fired. Ooh, awkward. What's that part of the song? <laughs> Did I sing it? No. Uh, just grab the cameras and go. Thank you. You too, Flunky. <clears throat> oh, when you're writing up a resume, remember three things. You <clears throat> oh, that's gonna leave a mark where I don't shine. Infrared, capturing the heat instead. There is light from the sky that we can't see. In the darkest parts of the galaxy, with Spitzer's spectrum, we can detect them easily.